All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, how's your watch uh, hobby going? Is it going okay for you? It's uh, it's kind of tough. I'll tell you why I know my watch hobby is tough. I uh, I've had the summer off. I teach at a college, and yesterday was uh, it's called the Flex Day. Why is it called a Flex Day? Well, that's when your job wants to flex its muscles and show you where you stand. And it's going to put you through a lot of meetings. And what happened was, on Flex Day, I had to go to four meetings. I wore uh, this, uh, I'm going to call this the Arctic Moss. The Arctic Moss, the SBDC 165. I wore the Arctic Moss to work, and it was the first time I had worn one of my watches in an official capacity. I had been just, you know, walking around the house like Gollum all summer marveling at my watches but you know when you marvel at your watches like Gollum inside your house yeah you may take your kids out to yogurt land once a week or you may shop at Trader Joe's but you're pretty much you don't really know how you connect with a watch at home it's more of a Gollum psycho thing so I, I wore this to work and did it pass the real life test and yes it did I, I want to explain how my SBDC 165 pass the real life test. You know, you're, you're wearing a watch in real life. In my case, it was a flex day. Four brutal meetings. And, and I have to tell you, what do you think I was thinking about during those four meetings? I mean, <laughs> do you think I was thinking about uh, the, the policies, the, uh, the numbers, the enrollment numbers, the, the forecasts, the projections? No. I was thinking about watches. I was thinking about... Uh, the new Seiko King Sumo, which look, it's a good piece. I don't know, man. Noman's selling it this morning. I, I woke up. Oh, Noman's selling the Seiko King Sumo Blue. $898. Free shipping, no tax. Wow. And uh, it is tempting, but I, I don't know. I don't want to do it because it's blue and it's going to compete with my uh, Arctic Moss right here. And when, when watches compete, they kind of dilute each other. What if getting the Sumo dilutes the potency of this beautiful watch right here? So, um, I want to explain how this watch passed the test, the real life watch test. Number one, I really was enjoying that it's, for me, it, it's, it's relatively small. Not too small, but at 40.5, it's much smaller than I've traditionally worn. I've been wearing watches, uh, in an obsessive manner since 2005. My very first watch was an Echozilla, a 48 millimeter watch. And so here we are down to 40.5. It it plays big enough. It, it's pretty thick. It's over 13 thick. But the fact that it was small, I almost enjoyed it because it kind of, uh, oh, this suggests evolution. It suggests personal growth. It, it suggests refined taste. And I was really enjoying the uh, the small size. Yep, the other reason why I was enjoying the small size is because, man, it is comfortable to wear one of these watches. You know, I, I have two versions of it. I have the uh, the gray one as well, the SPB143. Uh, I can just put it in there without competing with it. And this one is uh, a very warm tone watch. I almost, even though it's it's gray, there's something bronze-ish about it. There's something warm and bronzish about it. And then I've got the uh, the blue which has these sort of birch lines. Speaking of the birch lines in the blue one, these birch lines see if I can get that for you. Kind of a Grand Seiko vibe. I, I And I mean birch trees aren't blue are they? I'm, I don't think so. So what are we going to call this? Melted ice? We're going to call that Melted Ice, and I like the Grand Seiko vibe of this. You know, a $950 package with a Seiko vibe. What else did I like about the watch yesterday in a real-life situation? Well, I did like the color variations of the dial. I kept looking at it at the four meetings as it went over forecasts, projections. Uh, the big crisis of 2024, 2025, when they start using new metrics to measure student enrollment. And these new metrics will be less generous. And there I was staring at the blue dial of my SBDC 165. Ooh, 2024, 2025. I may be retired by then. Lord have mercy. 
The other thing I, I like about uh, the 165 is its versatility. I mean, it is very sporty, but there there is something dressy about it. I would definitely uh, wear this in a dressy scenario as well as a uh, sporty scenario. So I like the smallness, I like the comfort, I like the color variations of the dial, I like the sporty, dressy versatility. I like the birch lines, the Grand Seiko vibe. I've had no problems with accuracy. I know the uh, 6R35 can be hit and miss, the 70 hour power reserve. But I've, I've had noticed no problems uh, with accuracy. I've had this watch for over a month now. And just looking at it right now, I want to put it on my wrist, that's how much I like this watch. I I guess I would have one complaint. In some lighting, the blue's a little light. I wish it, the, the blue was a little darker. But you know, there's no watch dial that looks ideal in all lighting conditions. I mean, this gray one looks wonderful in uh, most lighting conditions, but sometimes it gets muted. I mean, anything's going to get muted. So, uh, as I look into my watch box, I have four mechanicals and two Echo Drive Solars. I, I'm at the point in my watch collecting where I, um, I compartmentalize. So my two Solar Echo Drives on rubber straps, the Orca and the Retrozilla, I don't even count them as part of my rotation. They're just for uh, when I go swimming. And uh, so I really have four mechanicals. Part of me wants to, to not buy anything and just rotate these two because uh, this this could be my favorite uh, Seiko case design of all time but the problem is I am a watch obsessive and this is insane the the watch uh, obsession that I have right now even more than the King Sumo is well you have to realize a little bit above the King Somo, believe it or not, is a possible rebuy, the MM200 Steel. The, the model number is SBDC125. What happened was uh, I sent my uh, all-steel stainless uh, tuna SBBN049 to Carlos to sell. He's going to sell it. I just couldn't connect with the quartz. I finally gave up trying to connect with tunas. I've had them for about 10 years off and on. I gave up. I tried. And so... I do miss having an all stainless uh, design in my collection. So I am looking at the MM200 again. And but, but wait, this is insane. Even higher on the obsession scale. So I've got third, third, third ranking is the Seiko King Sumo Blue, which, you know, I should probably get that. I've never bought it before, so it's not a rebuy. And then there's the MM200, which is a rebuy. But but number one is the chocolate or cappuccino dial version of these. I, I can't get it out of my mind. It's the uh, SPB 147. So uh, for about a, two days now, I, see, I've had a, a Kindle book out about our watch obsession, a sort of retelling of The Wizard of Oz. It's uh, The Secret Life of Watch Addicts. I enjoyed writing it. I'm not sure... There'll be a big readership for it. I'll tell you, what, I don't think people read. I think people look at YouTube videos to get their watch uh, obsession uh, stimulated. I'm not sure a lot of people are reading these days. I mean, uh, you know, I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, I've sold about a dozen copies, and I'm glad I wrote it. I had to write it. It, it was a, uh, a watch obsessive journey that... Uh, that I felt I had to write them and uh, so I'll put the link to that on this video but uh, b back to conclude this 165 passed the real-life test and I can recommend it I can rec recommend it uh, easily well thanks McMahon just lost the focus of it that focus is sad that's a sad focus Get some focus nope focus is gone you know why because you got it out of the light you got it out of the light I want you to see that birch. Nope. So the blue's out. I can't wear the blue watch anymore. The gray dial, there's focus, so that's a sign. I have to keep the gray one, and I have to sell the blue one, because it wouldn't focus for the final uh, part of this video. Come on, blue. Come back. Come back. There you go. It's back. It came back. That was a little teaser. You're playing. See, I tried to be nice to the blue one, and it, it played back on that way. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Blue Dial SBDC165, highly recommend it for all the reasons aforementioned. Tell me what you think of this model, and until next time, I'm out.